What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, I'd love it if you would stay and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload and never miss a video with me. Um, today's video is really just chill, laid back type of deal. I feel like this is really too high. Oh, I'm not trying to show you my boob. Okay, there we go. So, um, today's video is basically just a get ready with me. I'm going to be answering some questions. Um, I wrote them down. Some questions you guys asked me on Instagram about a week and a half ago. So, yeah, that's what today's video is about. I'm just going to be using some of my, you know, all-time favorite products. I'm not doing, like, a crazy look or anything today. I'm actually going to be filming, um, a couple videos today because I took yesterday today and the next day off um, of work so that I could clean up the house I yesterday I vlogged it all so you'll be able to see that and that video should be up probably before this video so if you haven't seen it I will link it up here um but anyway I took down all my Christmas decorations the Christmas tree everything got that out in the garage and then I did like five million loads of laundry if you have watched my channel you know how much I hate laundry I hate with passion I just hate putting it away because we don't have an we don't have a lot of closet storage and so like I'm having to like shove things in like you know slide it and try to like put it in there with a the closet and it's just it's a mess and it's so annoying and I hate it but anyway enough with the rant um yeah I'm gonna start getting ready because obviously I'm not going to get ready but just keep talking So how was your guys' this Christmas? I hope you guys had a great holiday. I feel like it went by so fast. Hayden was so much fun. She got so much stuff, but it was just so fun seeing, she would open a present and scream about it, jump up and down, and then she would like put it down and then be like, okay, what's next? Oh, like, she like wouldn't enjoy just the one present. It was so funny, but she started to get like a little bratty towards the end because she didn't like that, like, me and John were opening presents for each other. She wanted to open all the presents, so. But, yeah, besides that, it was really fun. She was, she was a blast. So, I asked you guys on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'll leave that down here. Um, you guys should definitely go follow me. I'm always, um, I'm always, like, what's the word I'm trying to go for? I'm always on like, I'm always uploading a story every day. So if you guys wanna like, you know, check out what I'm doing every day, then definitely go follow me on there. All right. And I'm just using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless foundation. I just got a new bottle cause I was running out and the only shade I had was um, too dark for me. But yeah. If you haven't noticed, I bleached and, and toned my hair. It's always been pretty blonde, but now it's like white. And I filmed that video, so if you wanna see that, I'll link it up here. Um, I filmed like the whole thing. So like before and during and after and um, all the products I used and like the technique and everything I showed you guys the whole process so um I actually got a lot of views on that so I was pretty proud of that video this foundation so good if you need a dr good drugstore foundation get the Maybelline matte poreless it's so good it just always looks so flawless Okay, so I guess I will start answering questions. Since I film on my phone, I had to like write these down because obviously I can't like go into Instagram and read them off. Um, I eventually wanted to get a camera, but I just feel like my phone is just so simple and easy to use to film my videos. <sighs> I was actually talking about videos before this. I'm sorry, I'm just jumping around everywhere today. I feel like I haven't filmed in forever. Like I feel like I don't know how to talk, but um, 
I was saying I had a lot of people asking me like how to start YouTube videos or how to start a YouTube channel and so I kind of want to make a video dedicated just to that like my tips and tricks like how I started and just little um hacks to like make it a lot easier um because it's really not that difficult I mean it's definitely a lot of work like I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna sit here and say like it's like the easiest thing ever but I definitely like love it so that's why I put that much work into it um but yeah I mean you have to just have motivation to sit down and film and be consistent because if you're not consistent then you're not going to grow very well or as fast as you'd like um so because I have been um doing YouTube for about four months now I think four months yeah and I have um gained 350 subscribers as of this morning 350 so that's really exciting um but yeah, I want to make like a video on like, you know, things that will help upcoming or like people who want to start a channel. The first question I got was what is my favorite lip gloss? And I was going to like go and try to find like a lip gloss that I've used, but like I literally don't use lip glosses. So <laughs> I wasn't really sure if I should just make up one, which I just, I didn't want to do obviously, but, um, yeah, so I really don't know how to answer that because I don't ever wear lip gloss. If I just want, like, a shine with, like, anything, I just put chapstick on. Or, like, Vaseline. But, um, I have, like, a shiny, um, lipstick that I use. I can show you. Maybe. I think I actually have it over here. This is the one that's actually, like, the only glossy thing that I wear. Oh! Okay. I'm sorry that this whole video is like an entire mess. Okay, so it is the L'Oreal Color Reach Shine in the um, color Glossy Fawn 900. And it just looks like this. It's kind of a mess. But it um, it's a glossy finish. It's a shiny finish. So that's the only thing that I really wear that's shiny. I pretty much just stay with mattes because I want something that's going to last all day. And yeah, I just kind of like the look of mattes better, but I also just wear chapstick a lot of times too. Two people ask me this, but how did the name Hayden come about? Or like, how did you pick the name Hayden? Um, and that's so funny that people ask that, but it's not like this like super cute story or anything like that. I literally, um, <laughs> I was obsessed with the movies Bring It On. You know, like the cheerleading movie, Bring It On All or Nothing. That was my favorite movie. I know, I still know every word to that movie. Like this video if you freaking are obsessed with the Bring It On movies. Every time it com comes on, or I would go out and rent the movies all the time when I was little. And watch them freaking all day and all night. I freaking love those movies. But uh, in the movie, my favorite one, the Bring It On All or Nothing, there was a cheerleader. She was like the top dog, like the blonde cheerleader, which I was a cheerleader in high school. Um, and her name was Brittany in the video, or in the movie, and I freaking loved her. And her name was Hayden Penitary. If you don't know her, she is gorgeous. She is so freaking gorgeous. I love her. I've always loved her. Um, but yeah, her name is Hayden, and I've always just loved that name. And I've never met a girl named Hayden besides her. Well, I've never met her, but like known a girl besides her. So, um, I've just always loved that name. Um, she was actually going to be called Eliza for the longest time. And then, like, last minute, not last minute, but, like, after, like, maybe the last three months of being pregnant, I was like, I really like the name Hayden. So, we went with Hayden Marie. So, yeah, that's how she got her name. Not, like, a super cool story, but I've just always loved the name Hayden. And, yeah, <laughs> super sentimental. Um, another question I got was, do you want more children? And I've got this, like, I feel like I get this every time, which I don't mind because... Girl, yes, I do want more children. I would like probably three. Um, I don't know. John always says if we have a boy next, then we're done. But I have a feeling that we're not going to just stop at two. I think we will have three for sure. So we'll see. Hopefully three. That's the goal. Um, did you go to cosmetology school and how was your experience? 
Um, no, I did not go to cosmetology school. I didn't, I have not had any type of training whatsoever. Um, the only type of training I would have had was I worked at Dillard's, but they didn't teach me any makeup skills. They just kind of taught me, um, how to like the best way to apply makeup on clients, I guess. Um, because I'd always just done makeup on myself. So that's really the only thing that I've had ex training in is just the, um, Dillard's so that's pretty much it. I I've literally I'm just self-taught. I just watched YouTube ever since I was little um, And just practice that's literally all it is is practice practice practice. What's the next question? Best facial moisturizer for winter season. So I'm assuming that's like if you're dry and stuff because um, Usually in the winter in the cold months you get more dry um, I love the Clinique Moisture Surge. Um, it's super hydrating, like super hydrating. The Clinique has a really good line for like moisturizing, um, products and they're not like super expensive either. But yeah, I would check that one out for sure. Um, I think Kyla Thomas actually asked me that. Um, so yeah, Kylie, get the Clinique Moisture Surge one. It's not very expensive, I don't think. Like it's probably like less than $20. But it's really good. It's very hydrating. It's like um, a gel consistency. But um, it feels super good. I always put that on, on at night before I go to bed. So I wake up with super hydrated skin. The question I got was, what is the best or most useful, effective tactic or tip for losing weight? Girl, when you find out, tell me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this past week, I've done like horrible um, cause as, as you guys know, if you've watched my videos that I'm like in this weight loss journey now and I just started it like a couple weeks ago, but freaking my work literally brought in kitchen dinners or kitchen lunches like almost every single day before Christmas. So that was super annoying. Like I was doing so good, you know, bringing my own lunch and everything, doing the intermittent fasting and all that. And then it just all went to, all went to hell basically. So <laughs> that was not good anyway so basically I I got back on track yesterday so we're doing good we've already lost two pounds it's seriously so crazy like just if you eat bad you, I just gain weight so easily it's crazy I like gain weight and lose weight easily but I just have to be consistent with tracking how much I'm eating and all that so I would just say the the most effective um, in my opinion is not necessarily like tracking your calories but like paying attention to like what you're eating and how much that's going to affect your body because like i know some people get not they're not good with the whole tracking calories thing because it gets too obsessive for them but i mean i swear anytime i don't track my calories and i eat and i'm like okay this is probably you know it's even if it's healthy it's like if you eat too much of it it's you're still going to gain weight like you have to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight like if you're burning more calories burning less calories than you're intaking burning less calories than you're intaking yeah that's what i'm trying to say then you're not gonna lose weight like that's just the facts of it that's just how it works um so i mean i would definitely just say like tracking calories or tracking how much you're eating somehow some way without making it like you know too obsessive for you however that may be but yeah i would definitely say tracking calories because that's what i'm doing um and then the intermittent fasting i love that that's not for everybody but I freaking love doing that. It's so much easier for me because I can get my calories in like two big meals instead of trying to eat like a freaking bird with like five meals a day because that just ain't working for me at all. At all. So the question was, what advice can you give to women struggling with insecurities? I honestly had to like stop and kind of like pray about this before I kept going on. That's why I have like all my eyeshadow finished. Um, because I feel like this is something that, you know, so if something I could say could really impact somebody's life. And so not that I'm like going to go on this huge like speech or anything. <laughs> you thought. But, um, I just wanted to make sure that what I said was the right thing and and it could be the wrong thing i don't i mean i'm not perfect 
I have insecurities myself and that's why I was like, I don't know if I should even um, address this question because it's something that I struggle with myself, honestly. Um, you know, my insecurities are my weight. I mean, um, I really struggle with, and honestly, this all came about from um, my past relationship. I, before I had dated this person, I was super confident. I could go up and talk to anybody. You know, it was just never a problem for me. I just never dealt with anything where I was like, you know, had anxiety or was, you know, sad or all that stuff. Like, um, I don't want to say necessarily dealt with like depression, but um, after dealing what I had dealt with, and you can watch my video about this whole um, thing I'm talking about. I'll just leave it up here. Um, it's my 19 and pregnant story. Um, so I talk about all of that in there, but I feel like insecurities everyone deals with them so instead of worrying about what others think they're probably thinking like oh that person doesn't like me oh i'm not as pretty as that person oh i don't get the same amount of instagram likes as this person oh i'm not as athletic as that person like there's just so many things that you can be insecure about but there's also so many things that you can be proud of i mean there's so many good qualities about every single person like you shouldn't fall into the comparison game because what's the purpose of that? Because honestly, it's just going to harm you. It's never going to make you happy if you're comparing yourself. Um, I mean, even if you're comparing yourself saying you're better, like that's just going to hurt your inner self more than anything, you know? Why do you need to tear down somebody um, to make yourself look better? I mean, there's just no point to that. Um, but I think everybody struggles with that. I know I do. Um, I know a lot of my friends have insecurities and, um, I don't know. I feel like you just need to find definitely one thing I would say is never finding your worth in another person. Because if you do that, every human is going to let you down either one time or a million times. You know, if you put your worth in your boyfriend or your girlfriend, they're going to let you down and then... You know, when they let you down, how are you going to feel about yourself? You're not going to feel good about yourself. You know, if, if they call you pretty and you're like, oh, I love that. Like, then you start to feel pretty yourself. But then what if they turn around and break up with you and then they call you ugly? Like, then you're going to be torn down again. Like, you cannot put your worth in someone's hands. Um, the only person you need to put your worth in is God. And because he sees you, like, he literally made you in his image. Like, he... Spent time on every single person in this world. He freaking knows the hair on your head. He put so much work into you and made you beautiful. And I mean, it honestly, it I was probably hurts him hearing what you have to say about your own self. I mean, I feel like, okay, I'm sorry. I'm going on like a whole speech now, but I just feel so passionate about this because it's something that I deal with personally, but I'm trying to like fight against because I just know that it's so um damaging and how am I going to help other girls if I struggle with it myself um but yeah I mean finding your worth in God is what you need to do that's my biggest tip for you is to talk to God about it pray to God about it he's going to comfort you whenever you're feeling down about yourself um also one of my friends says this I don't really do this but um writing little sticky notes or I, th I think it's like if you you stand in front of a mirror and you say 10 th 10 good things about yourself um before you start your day um those are like I think affirmations I think that's what that it's called um but yeah well I'm making my eyes super dark because I'm not paying attention <laughs> um but yeah stand in front of a mirror and say really I love your hair today or I love your eyes I love the way you're legs look you know what I mean like you just have to speak good things about yourself because if you're speaking bad about yourself then like that's just that's not going to help anything you need to give yourself love show yourself love and also I mean if you don't like something like if you don't like your weight then change it I mean there's things like that that you can change if you don't like your hair color then change it I mean there's nothing wrong with wanting to change things um if it's something that you can change um then I don't see why you can't you shouldn't change it like I don't like my weight and I was so tired of just complaining about it um 
So I'm changing it. I'm trying to change it. I'm going on this fitness journey or weight loss journey. So, I mean, I feel like I just threw a lot at you, but I think the number one thing is to not put your worth in other people's hands. Don't compare to others because you have no idea, like, especially on social media, I think that's a huge problem is what you're seeing on social media is someone's highlight reel. You know, that's their edited version of their life, their best picture of their life, their, you know, it's like, that's really not what you see in real life. I don't know, I just feel like you should definitely not put your worth in other people's hands. Don't compare yourself and you just need to show yourself love. That's just the big deal is you need to show yourself love and because if you're not, then who else is going to? You need to love yourself before you can show love to others and that's huge. So yeah, I hope that answered your question and helped you out a little bit um, and just helped out any girls in general who are watching this because that's definitely one thing that I want to make this channel is something that can empower women and empower young girls to have confidence and have confidence in their relationship with Jesus, have confidence in themselves and have confidence in what they're doing in life, you know? So, sorry about that long spiel, but okay, I'm going to finish up my makeup and then I will be right back. I just put on some lashes and I ended up just putting that lipstick on, or lip, yeah, it's lipstick, the glossy fawn that I said in the beginning of this video. So, yeah. So, that's what I came up with today. I'm just going to be filming today. I'm not going anywhere. Um, but, yeah. So, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye!